welcome back to my channel. All right, you guys, so I'm sure you all know the big game is on its way, Super Bowl 2020, super excited. Uh, can't wait to watch it and see the commercials. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Regardless of who you're rooting for, you're gonna need some snacks for your big game celebration. Everybody loves to watch the game with some snacks, some chips, some dip, some things here and there. Most of the time, they're not the healthiest options. So I figured I would give you guys three different healthy Super Bowl snacks to have for the big game. All three are delicious and amazing and I show you how to make them right in this video. First one is a sweet potato sliders. Number two are some mini zucchini pizzas. And number three, and my personal favorite, the barbecue cauliflower wings. So without further ado, let's get right into it and check out how you can make all of these delicious recipes. All right, you guys, so we're gonna start off with the sweet potato sliders. Here's how you make them. First step, you're gonna cut off the ends of your sweet potatoes and then gonna cut down through them into half an inch thick circles, just like this. And if you have a sweet potato that's a little bit thinner, you can cut down diagonally through it to create a bigger surface area for your bun. And once you have all of your buns cut up, you're gonna go ahead and stick them on a cookie sheet, bake them for about 15 minutes at 375. Now you're gonna assemble your sliders. So take all the ingredients that you want, you can do whatever you want. I wanted to do lettuce, tomatoes, and you know, pickles or whatever the heck is usually on a slider. I just used whatever I had in the fridge, which just happened to be spinach, a black bean patty instead of ground beef patty, some onions, some pickles, and some ketchup. And just like that, you set it up and get started on the other ones. Some of them may have a hard time standing up by themselves, especially because they're so small and tall. So you may need to add a toothpick just to hold them up. And there you have it, they're all done. So now that we have our sweet potato sliders, let's move on to our little zucchini pizzas. Here we go. So to make your zucchini pizzas, you're gonna start off by cutting your zucchini. So cut off the ends, just like we did with the sweet potatoes, and then cut down diagonally. Most zucchinis are gonna be pretty thin, so the diagonal cut is the ultimate way to go. But if you have a very thick zucchini, you can just cut down into straight circles. And once you have them all cut up, you're gonna get another cookie sheet, grease that cookie sheet a little bit just so they won't stick. And then you're going to line up your zucchini circles onto the baking sheet. Now you're gonna grab everything you're going to need to make them. So you're gonna need some tomato sauce, whole wheat flour, or any sort of breadcrumbs. And we're gonna start off with that whole wheat flour. You're gonna dip your zucchini slices into the whole wheat flour just to coat them completely on the top and the bottom. Then grab that pizza sauce or marinara sauce and add a little dollop of the pizza or marinara sauce on top of them and then spread them out with a spoon. Once you've covered all of your zucchini pizzas with tomato sauce, you're gonna add some cheese. Now, the cheese you're supposed to use is a mozzarella cheese. Somehow I forgot to buy mozzarella, so it's gonna be Mexican cheese for this one. Tasted amazing anyway. So, but if you want it to be more pizza authentic, go with some mozzarella cheese. Add some garlic powder to add a little bit of flavor. And most importantly, you need to get oregano. Oregano will add that pizza flavor that you cannot get with any other herb or spice or anything. And you're done. You're just gonna stick them into the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes at 350 degrees. And once they're done, you can pull them out and just arrange them on your serving plate. And that will be it. And that's it, you guys. All you have to do is that. And then you're ready to go with your little zucchini pizzas. And last, but certainly not least, my personal favorite, the barbecue cauliflower wings. Woo! Here's how you make them. Okay, to make these cauliflower wings, you're gonna need two separate bowls, one with flour or breadcrumbs, and another one with almond milk or any type of milk, and a little bit of butter or vegan butter or any kind of oil. And now what you're gonna do is cut out the center of your cauliflower. So remove that big core and go ahead and separate the little pieces. Some of the pieces may be a little big, so use a knife to help cut them through and make smaller pieces. So coat it into the flour, then coat it with the almond milk, solution <laughs> and then right back into the flour and make sure it's fully covered and put it right onto your baking dish 
And you're gonna go ahead and repeat this process with all of your little cauliflower wings. It takes a little bit of time, but it's definitely worth it, I promise. It creates a nice crust. Once they're all fully coated, you're gonna stick them into the oven for about 10 minutes at 350 degrees. Now you're gonna add your sauce. You can use whatever sauce you want, but I use barbecue sauce. Another popular one is buffalo sauce. So if you're more into that, then go ahead and do that one instead. But barbecue sauce was delicious, let me tell you. You're gonna squirt some of that sauce right into a bowl, and then you're gonna grab each cauliflower wing and coat them thoroughly in the sauce. And you're gonna repeat it with all of the wings. Once you've finished coating all of the cauliflower bites, you're gonna stick it right back into the oven for another 10 minutes at 350 degrees. Once they come out of the oven, they look beautiful, and now it's time to plate them. So go ahead and rip them right off of that baking dish. I had a little bit of trouble, but go ahead and do your best and put them onto your plate. And now you got your sweet potato sliders, your mini zucchini pizzas, and your barbecue cauliflower wings. And that is it, you guys. Now you have your three amazing game day foods and snacks that you can have prepared for everyone who's there to watch the game with you. Or you can take it to someone's house if you're also going to a party. So those are our three healthy Super Bowl snacks. Let me know down below in the comments which one of these three you're gonna be making for your Super Bowl celebration. And also let me know down below which team you're rooting for, the 49ers or the Chiefs. And no, I totally didn't just look at that right now. Uh, I totally knew that a long time ago. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you have an awesome Super Bowl celebration. And also don't forget to check out these recipes for any other game celebration you're having. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and also to hit subscribe down below. Make sure you enter into the 1000 subscriber giveaway if you haven't already. I will link that video down below. I put out a new video every week so I will see you guys again next week. Bye!